Hi, Sirius here, back with another Ordinal Markup video, episode 38, and it's been like a day or maybe two, and I have 1 million factor boosts, but actually I have checked, I have enough boosters to unlock the Singularity, which is the next major mechanic here. So, I know this is not a live stream, but I will be doing a live stream soon, like, I within a few episodes, and... It, it, it's gonna be before the mechanic after singularity and you'll you'll see what it is later I, I have no idea what, what that even is but whatever uh, there's first this which seems pretty useless and then there's unlock the singularity here we go I'm gonna do a countdown here five four three two one bam it did nothing or I know it didn't do nothing but here it is singularity this is Singularity level 1, raising the Factor Boost 25 plus requirement to back when Howard Ordinal and having them give out one times the Factor Boosts. You can upgrade the Singularity, so, for example, you can upgrade it with my one Manifold. So here we're gonna, here we go, there's two Singularity levels, and now it, it says raising the Factor Boost 25 plus requirement to Psi of Epsilon sub capital Omega times 2, so it's, it's another Ordinal. Um, it must, I, 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 that's not the Beckman Howard Ordinal, but whatever. And it, it gives three times the factor boost, so now I'm getting 52 factor boosts per second. Guess I can keep doing this. So it, now it's Epsilon sub capital Omega times two times capital Omega. And I think also this black hole increases with every level. So I'm guessing, I, I, this is weird. The real notation should be Epsilon sub capital Omega plus one instead of epsilon sub capital omega times two, but whatever. I'm just gonna keep upgrading it. 155, it keeps going up 190. How many manifolds do I even have? I, okay, okay, singularity level eight. 259 factor boosts per second. I don't think I have enough olive omega here. And then there's also downgrade the singularity for a manifold. So I can just do it if I want. Interesting. I can also do it for E6 dark manifolds and doesn't look like I can downgrade it for dark manifolds. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm just—I guess I can just keep trying to do it with everything, and I'm gonna up all the way up to level 10. And then there's this reach level 20 singularity, and that this this is the thing the live stream will be about. So it says get wreck weakling. You need a larger singularity before you even think about unlocking this mechanic. Oh, that's gonna be the live stream. So I'm getting more factor boosts, but I don't think there's much else I could do because, like, think about it. I don't even. I don't. I think I need a crazy amount of factor boosts if I actually want to. Yeah, I need E20 factor boosts. There's no way I'm getting that. I mean, I guess I can just distribute all cardinals here, but there's no way I can get E20 Aleph Omega to, to do this. So I'm guessing what I need to do is I just need to collapse again and try to get more like Aleph, you know, Aleph Omega. So, because because now I'm getting just, I'm getting much more factor boosts per second. I'm getting 333. So I think what I should just do at this point is collapse and try to do the collapse as quick as possible here. And yeah, okay, let, let's let's see how, how quick I can do this. So I should definitely get this and probably factor boost, um, yeah, like a bunch of times here. That was 209 factor boost. That means I can literally just get all of these upgrades for, okay, th just for the challenges. Is it even pot? No, I can't even do some of the challenges with some, some of these upgrades. I, I think what I should just do here, I should, this, this will be challenge one, just to get this challenge complete. Um, challenge two, I think, will be even easier. Yeah, challenge two, and then, and th oh yeah, challenge eight. Should probably get as many completions of that as I can. I got only that's only one completion. Um, three completions. I think I think I got twelve last time. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to get all the way up to twelve completions of challenge eight, which I think is definitely possible. So there's eight. I probably can get up to twelve. This is still eight. Can't factor shift anymore. I can just do that, and that that gets me nine. The ninth completion. I think if I just mark up here, like 
this, and then factor shift again, I can, yeah, I can, I can beat it the 10th time, and I can probably do it the 11th time here. Not sure if this is all worth it, but whatever. Maybe I won't even go for it the 12th time, because I just feel like that's not worth it. So now, challenge 3 and 5 should be also super easy. Um, this is all three completions of challenge 3. Here's going to be all three completions of challenge 5. And then just, just change the build so I can get challenge 4 and 6 done, like this. And I should be on my... Actually, here it is. I'm already up to, like, past or I was before. So, but I think it's better if I just actually try to complete these challenges. So, it's challenge 4, challenge 6, and challenge 7. I think that's all I need. And I need to... I still need to mark up. Okay, so, now, I'm, I don't even know what I'm in. Maybe I'll just go for this last completion of challenge 8. It's probably possible. Yeah, I, I'm in my dark upgrades. I don't know. Yeah, that was the 12th completion. I don't think I can get any more than that, so I probably now should just use a build like this. And yeah, now Epsilon sub capital omega times two. And I think I need all, all the way up to omega the omega times two. Interesting. So, and I'm getting only six factor boosts per second. I thought I was going to get more than six, but whatever. I'm... Maybe, maybe this should help with, I, I'm, I'm really not sure, maybe I should try to downgrade. Yeah, actually if I downgrade, I need to be at like a magical level. Because if I go too high, it'll lower, but if I go too low, it'll also lower. So, let, let's see what my collapse time even is. It's only 200 seconds, so it's actually really good. I just have to, I, I sort of have to keep watching the singularity level here so now it's nine is the optimal level and i can probably get up up to 10 yeah it's almost the optimal level it's 185 versus now 185 so now 10 is the optimal level so yeah, i don't think there's much else i can do here other than just wait maybe this upgrade will do something i don't even think it's gonna do much so i'm guessing how these post backman howard ordinal work um how these post backman Howard ordinals work is essentially like the backman Howard ordinal. I don't know why it's epsilon sub capital omega times two. It's supposed to be epsilon sub capital omega plus one, but whatever. That's how it goes. And here it's capital. I, I think what it does is, is like that's the, sort of the backman Howard ordinal, and then but it, like it continues. So like this is like. It's not quite like Omega Sub 2 because that does appear in ordinal collapsing functions even stronger than this, but it's it, you can sort of think of it like that. It's, it's mostly just like like just an, an infinite power tower of these capital Omegas. That's what I think you can think of it as. I, it's notated wrong and that's triggering me. So yeah, I don't think there's I think what I should do is I should just try to wait until 1000 seconds so I can I can get um, the maximum amount of cardinals like as I can and then what I can do because of the Aleph up right here gain 3% of most cardinals gained at once per second That will help me gain more cardinals and if I can get this 1.84 e19 Aleph Omega that would be huge. I don't think that's possible at this point, but it's it seems like it could happen eventually so Yeah, then there's also this which I'm about to reach I don't think this really speeds it up at all because like currently I'm getting 212 factor boost per second and this is actually no it does help somehow so now I'm up to 300 factor boost per second so okay it does help somehow somehow so yeah and then there's this which is you can enter challenges past three completions and then there's base six is now base five I don't think I can get that many factor boosts. I think I've seen pictures of the end game, and they have like billions of factor boosts. So, like I'm at, like I think it's essentially the number of factor boosts squared is is like your amount of boosters. So that means I need tens of millions to get this. Okay, I'm just gonna wait this out here. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I'm up to 260,000 factor boosts at 1,000 seconds. So here it is, about one e15 cardinals. I'm not sure if that's really good or bad, but whatever, that it's at least something. Maybe what I can do here, 
I think what I, actually, I can do, maybe, is disable my factor boost auto procedure so I can try to get incrementy because I can actually get incrementy here. So E36, E35, and I can get this. That will actually help later runs. I can also get another manifold. This is an eight minus seven manifold, so that technically means I can get one more singularity level. So yeah, now I can get just a little bit more. I don't think it's really gonna matter all that much getting one singularity level. Um, also, E39 upgrade here, so yeah, at least I feel like it, that is at least decent. And if I go back to the auto procedure, like let, let's see how much I'm, I'm getting per second. Like, of course, I'm not gonna get many cardinals, but I'm getting 380 factor boosts per second. So, and it does go up. So, yeah, I'm just going to get about, yes, it's 9 E14 Cardinals. I think I should just distribute all, and I should, like, do the challenges as quick as possible. Here we go. Distribute all, um, hold S down, and get these first, um, only 10 factor boosts. Oh, yeah, that's why. Because I need, you know, I need these upgrades. And then, still only 12 factor boosts. I, I don't know. Oh wait, no, it's 252. That I, I don't know. It's just it, 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 on this part of the game just makes no sense. But whatever. I'm just going to uh, do challenge one because it'll be super easy. And yeah, boom. Challenge two will also be easy. And then challenge eight, of course. And I'm not even sure how many times I, I yeah. Or yeah, eventually I should get 12. Maybe what I should do is I should just like keep downgrading the singularity for a manifold. And that will help challenge eight be a little faster. I, I'm not sure, but I'm, that's my theory. Challenge eight will be faster with this. Um, is it, and it's item markup. Um, oh, I need to do it again. I, I really, I really need to be faster than what I'm currently doing. There's 11 completions, and the 12th completion will happen right now here. So, or apparently not. Or okay, now it'll happen. So now, um, yeah. Now just do challenge three and five. I probably should do some of the other challenges first, but whatever. I'm just gonna do three and five, and then, and then maybe I, <laughs> then I can actually, you know, get like the rest of these for challenge four. And I, I'm not even sure I have to do the challenges at this point, but I think it does help. So that's what I will do. So yeah, there are all the challenges, which means now. Um, I should try to, yes, yeah, just use this build, and this will give me as many factor boosts as I possibly can. And upgrade it, 150, 170, it's about the same, singularity level 8. Um, 9 actually does help, but 10 does not at this point. So, yeah, this, I feel like this will allow me to get further than before, especially considering I'm only about 2.5 minutes into the collapse, so... Yeah, it's definitely getting faster than what I had before. And now 10 singularity levels is optimal. And I think once I, I'm really close to 11 being optimal. Yeah, I'll just do 11 here. So now I think it's just a grind to 8 E8 boosters. That's I think all I'm really, I'm really have to go for here. So I'm getting two E13 Cardinals per second, which means in about a day, I'll get two E18. I mean, I, that doesn't really do much because I want one E19, which is about two E19 for the next upgrade here. And there's also this. I could also go for dark manifolds. I'm not sure if that is the best idea at this point, but wh whatever. And may maybe I could go for them next episode. Like, I feel like it's going to be, it's a grind to get to 20 singularity levels. That That's what it seems like. And I'm just not sure how easy it's gonna be. Can't distribute all these cardinals, and possibly maybe I can just buy a max of this so I can boost the LFO multiplier even more, which could allow me to get more factor boosts per second. Maybe it was like just low 260s, and now I'm up to 278. So at least that it's doing something. I don't think it's really doing a, like that much, but at least I, I feel like it is doing at least a little bit. And me, 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 I'm not sure if I should get these two upgrades. I don't, I don't think it hurts to get these two. And now we can get e eight, e eight boosters. 
which means that now I can get almost 700 factor boosts per second. So maybe it does synergize with like this upgrade, possibly. So yeah, considering I'm getting 700 factor boosts per second, I'm definitely going to be able to get more cardinals than before. I may possibly be able to get enough cardinals within a thousand seconds to be able to get the E19 upgrade by just like a day from now. So, yeah, seeing a bit. Okay, I'm back and it's I'm close to a thousand seconds. I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna distribute all these unassigned cardinals. I can get yeah like more color power or not color power. This is not quantum. It, this sort of looks like quantum, but it's it's not. And I can get up to 3.1 times multiplier on that and E64 olive power. So almost a 200 times multiplier to tier two automation, which is pretty overpowered. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe it's not even overpowered. But wh whatever, almost 600,000 factor boosts. I don't know how many I'm getting per second. I can probably check here. 789, and this will give me almost 9e15 cardinals, which is like 9e15 is like the max integer, which is interesting. But anyway, I I think I should just collapse here, and this should give me probably enough to reach like 9e. Or not, not or two E nineteen cardinals. So I think I'm just gonna distribute all quickly, and then the first few factor boosts give me just so many boosters. I don't know. It says gain twenty one factor boosts. I have no idea why it d does that, but I guess I'm not gonna complain about it. So here are the first challenges. Um, there's challenge one, challenge two, and yeah, I, I know it's it's a little bit repetitive. Also, I'm noticing that Dynamic Factor Cat boosts Tier 1 and 2 and Increment. So that means it's it's boosting not only Tier 1 and Tier 2 automation, but it's also boosting Increment to gain. So, see, it's boosting Increment by 1373 times. That actually can be pretty powerful. Like, now it's almost 20, 2650 times. And with the 12th completion, it's over 5000 times. So. That, that means that is pretty important if I like want more incrementy. So uh, yeah, I, th I think what I can do now is just these these challenges. Like challenge four is I think a cakewalk, or maybe it's not. But whatever. Challenge six, challenge seven. Um, do I need to arm? Do I need to mark up? Yeah, I still need to mark up. Last time I didn't need to do that. I have no idea why, but whatever. Now I'll just get this, and this will be the final build here for challenge 3, challenge 5, and why can't I beat challenge 5? Okay, here we go. Now now I can, okay, I probably should not be using singularity level 11, I should do this, I think this, so yeah, 7 gives the highest factor boost per second now, actually 8, 9, 10 is almost on par with the others. And maybe with 11, I can just quickly check increment team, and I can't even check. I think I see like E32, so whatever. I'm still getting a little bit better factor boost per second with 10, but yeah, now it's 11 is the optimal, and it's the max clarity level. Also, it tells me how many, how many dark manifolds, manifolds, and Aleph Omegas I have. So I guess that's useful. So. Yeah, I should be able to get more cardinals. I, I should be able to to reach this upgrade. Like the... Yeah, this upgrade. Which I feel like is going to be pretty overpowered. Maybe it won't even be overpowered. Maybe collapsing will just be weak. Okay, we're coming up on this upgrade. I still don't really know how this works. But whatever. It, it gives me tons of factor boosts per second. So, yeah. I I, I, I like that upgrade. I, I, I don't know how it works. But it's, it seems useful. So... I'm, I'm not gonna complain about it. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think there's much I can do here. I think I'm just gonna grind Cardinals so I can I can get the, this upgrade, maybe a few more Singularity levels. Maybe I should go into Challenge 8 sometime or, or just grind more incrementy. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.